I've been living in Fukushima for around three years now. Um, before moving here, my family and friends would often ask me, is it okay? It's like, yes, it's, it's all fine here. A decade since the Great East Japan earthquake and nuclear disaster, the area is returning to normal. Today, Fukushima is entering a new phase of growth and development. The Fukushima Institute for Research, Education and Innovation, FRE, is a core center for creative reconstruction that will advance Japan's scientific and technological capabilities and enhance its industrial competitiveness. I believe that the FRA's most important mission is to realize the dream and hope of promoting reconstruction in Fukushima and the entire Tohoku region. FRA will conduct many exciting research activities with outstanding researchers from all over the world and foster innovation while aspiring to become the world's preeminent center of creative reconstruction. Research that was previously conducted independently will create new synergy and cooperation at EFRE, allowing Fukushima to present a vision for Japan's next era. Researchers from many organizations participate in cutting-edge robotics research at Fukushima Robot Test Field. The technology we are exploring includes electric particle takeoff and landing aircraft, robots controlled remotely to aid humans in crucial tasks, and long-range unmanned aerial vehicles to improve disaster preparedness. In the field of agriculture, Fukushima University is researching smart agriculture that leverages robotics and sensor technology in cooperation with farmers and venture capital firms. In the healthcare sector, Fukushima Medical University is doing pioneering drug discovery work. We are researching targeted radioisotope therapy also called TRT, or Theranostics, which is attracting global attention for comprehensive cancer diagnosis and treatment. Eventually, we aspire to share our achievements in advanced clinical research on nuclear medicine with the world. Also, through cutting-edge research, researchers on nuclear disaster are collecting and publishing valuable data. In the energy sector, testing is underway at the Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field to produce hydrogen using solar power. In recovery operations following the nuclear disaster, continuous progress is being made in decommissioning TEPCO's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. Water containing radioactive materials generated during the decommissioning process is purified by using an advanced liquid processing system known as ALPS. The water is stored in a large number of tanks on site. The Japanese government has announced a basic policy on the discharge of ALPS-treated water that meets regulatory standards. The Japanese authorities requested that the IAEA monitor and review the plans and activities relating to the discharge of the ALPS-treated water to ensure they will be implemented in a safe and transparent way and they will be in accordance with the IAEA's international safety standards. In terms of human resources supporting Fukushima's recovery, young people who were children at the time of the 2011 disaster are expected to play important roles moving forward. The Great East Japan Earthquake and Nuclear Disaster Memorial Museum archives records of the disaster to provide valuable lessons for the future. I think Japan's resilience, knowledge and technology have enabled the country to recover from natural disasters like typhoons and earthquakes time and time again. As a newcomer to Japan, I find this strength of spirit truly amazing. Fukushima is always evolving and changing. Um, I hope you'll come and visit Fukushima one day.